Hi, maybe I'm Sosa, maybe I'm not, but you can call me Rice because that is my nickname. Welcome to Architectural Review. Today we're reviewing a container home tour by Levy Kelly. I'll put the link down below if you want to see the whole video because I'm going to just jump right into it and focus on architectural review because this is for educational purposes. If you're looking for a house to rent or to buy or design ideas, you are in the right place because this is what I do. I review different houses and I'll have the playlist at the end of the video or you can just go straight to the playlist from my YouTube channel. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Let's go. So basically, I'm going to skip ahead, but he starts because I watched the video first time. So this is the second time we're watching together. But he starts explaining how the house is laid out and that there's outside lightings and it's containers. So I'm going to just do that very quickly because I'm going to skip ahead to keep the video short and not show everything. And basically, the two sides are containers. I draw on mouse. So forgive if it's not beautiful. And the middle is where there's a basketball court. Let's just do this. And this is what they build out. And the house layout too is like in plan, like a U shape around the basketball court. So let's put this in red also. And the basket court is somewhere here and it's closed here. And this is the porch. So this is in plan. And this is an elevation, okay? Just to give you an idea, the, again, the whole video will be down below because I'm going to skip there to go straight into going inside the home because I th I don't know. It sounds like copyrighted music. So in case, I'm just going to go straight into walking into the house. Benches right here for you to use, and then you have your front door right in the middle. So let's Got just benches. take a step through this front Boom. door and check it out. When you walk in first impression first of all like from outside with the dark black and the yellow accents i would have never guessed inside looking like white and like wood interior because i've been like i've been i seen one so i'll just say one container house and inside they still look like a container this house completely looks like a home it doesn't look like containers but again he explains that the two on the side which i drew are the containers and the middle part was built out to bridge the gap in between so maybe that also helped but even the container parts do not look like containers so they did a great job on the interiors and i do think they hired an interior designer because it's very linked in between Grand, spaces and very well taught off board. like everything Welcome is very well coordinated and matches right, right which in impressed me if it, they did it themselves i'm very impressed absolutely beautiful even the chandeliers and the selections of the plants these look like real plants these do not look like fake plants on the side out of these these there's a huge dining table right here in the middle and if these are fake those they gotta tell me where they buy these fake plants i need them these are real plants in back of me real plants and like i'm not a fan of those type of dining like chairs but like it's an airbnb he explained i'm saying he i think he identifies with me i'm not sure but excuse me if it's not but the person levy explains that it's like that like it's an airbnb i feel like it's very well thought of too to like clean replace etc let's just take this coffee spot for example you open up the drawer this is the kitchen he's just gonna talk about how much coffee is i'm not a coffee drinker so again go check out the video so i like that a lot and that just goes along with the rest of your i find again i if i have, I have this is an airbnb kitchen so it's different i'm gonna analyze it different it's not forever but it's a very good kitchen like it has the dishwasher everything you need and even like the colors again it reminds you of the outside of the home so again intelligent good design and clean clean everything reminds even like the kitchen utensils the color of brown and the the black or the dark blue mix everything matches the outside of the house too it's like recalls even the couch the couch the furniture everything the inside that is wood inside and outside it's like just a beautiful 
design. It's like crazy. The the cutlery, the cutlery, the cutlery. I can't say that word. But the plates and the bowls and the spoons and the box. Da. Kind of amazing. They did a good job. I'm gonna just say that. I'm just skipping to that. This custom made sliding barn door, and we'll go back through this section, which is a shipping container this is one of the shipping containers. yeah you walk through and you have the and- shower so that's one thing though and these type of homes like you have to pass but again this is like the private path you have to pass through the bathroom to go to the bedroom and that's odd to me so here just so you can find yourself this is like where we saw the entrance and then we had the dining room here and the kitchen let's put k for kitchen i'm saying dining room not dining room um you know, lounge. I say lounge room. I can't remember. Living room. There we go. So you have to pass through a bathroom to get to the bedroom, which is odd. Let's put WC, actually. It's it's a mirror image. He'll get to that piece. WC. So it's odd. First but, like, if it's private and it's Airbnb, you're not living master, into it, it's not a bad. This Listen, I like to have a shower head I can take down and spray on me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like showing this spray on me. Never mind. But let me stop that movement. But I don't like overhead because I don't always want my hair wet. Okay. Only when I need to wash it. So if it's just going to wet my hair every time, it's going to be annoying. But I do like it's beautifully again. You would need from the gray, the yellow, toilet, everything every again, cohesive with the whole design. That. I know about the bowl head, though. They can keep the bowl head. But everything else makes... Even the sink. Like, every detail was well chosen. Like then you go to the bedroom. This is what I'm talking about. Mirror in the bedroom. Always. Bedroom. I have a mirror in my bedroom. I'm biased. <laughs> the mirror. But... A queen bed right up against this wall. Cute. The lamp for your reading. Side. It's a little tight. But it gets the job done, and one really awesome it's, thing. Oof, this bed it's reclined. I think it's not bad that it's th- like it's an like Airbnb. Airbnb. You're not there all day unless you're like you know, but you're not there all day. <laughs> Normally, you're doing activities, so you're good. But just adds to your luxurious experience, and then you have a nightstand over here to put your luggage or clothes in. And that's really about it for this bedroom. Am I the only one when unpacked? Like, if I'm staying somewhere for, like, two weeks or a week, I do not unpack my suitcase. I just keep it in my suitcase and unpack. I don't see the point of putting it in drawers. If it's longer than that, then yes. If it's shorter, no. I need to stay uh, more than two weeks to unpack a suitcase. furniture. <laughs> Again, furniture and the pillow accents and the table reminded you of the outside that we just saw in the yellow accents. That's they had to have a designer. It's crazy. And that's the dining room. I'm just saying I'll see. And the fireplace. And then your Samsung featured that and artwork though. I love I'm just skipping. Again, you can see full video in the description. Bulls again. And the games they have. And they are selling stuff in the homes if you want. So, so this one, same. You pass another bathroom, which I explained in advance. Except this time, the bowl is black and not white. That That's a cute detail again that they made sure it's like the cemetery. But they said it's not doing white, and like the white bowl, while this side has a black bowl. So that's, that's kind of cute. Master bedroom on the back which is awesome. i think it's exactly. a bowl if it's a goal that's funny it looks like a bowl to me so i'm Everything. calling it a bowl so, this place sleeps four people very comfortably you okay both have master suite. and you both have your own bathroom so like that and now this is the pre- piece de resistance space, like you say in french well, so the main attraction the is the basketball court inside the home this basketball court is because the house is called lanay's um getaway or lady i'm sorry if i'm missing it up but basically is that it was their daughter who plays basketball and he loves basketball so they that was the idea of having a basketball court inside the house and building the house around it so uh, the, the basketball is court is here they even have the lines painted right here it goes all sorry right and here points. there's so like a little outside area right i'm doing here. a plan it's layout more or less to help you right out <laughs> Okay, uh, Summer Architecture Review is doing a little plan to help everybody out understand. Don't worry about the basketball hitting the home because it is a shipping container. It is 
hardcore metal. Yeah, because so like a ship in containers, ball, you can do whatever, and play the game, play game right and be good. Your kids or whoever. I was out here. It's just beautiful. Basketball and it like, seriously, really awesome. I wonder I about the insulation really of the home. Awesome. How the just walls are insulated since he's in long sleeve. So and he says in Ohio, I think Ohio is cold. So look at that. Even the net to protect if anyone's playing basketball, people can be outside and you have a whole net so you can eat without saying, oh my gosh, what if the ball hits me in the face? Like, There's no way. Look at that. Amazing. amazing. So Very this good. Is your enclosed basketball court, which is the inspiration behind this Airbnb. So you can play basketball. Lene's layup. Yeah. Thank you. Video. It hurt me. Rental. Already an entire basketball like court in a house I would never thought of. So I really think this house was unique like in that sense. And again, it's an FDLB. Check out his video for the full thing. And you have the outside where you have the little outside eating area. And again, the yellow to remind you of the yellow accents of the wood and anything that's painted. That's just... It's 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 a beautiful Airbnb. Gotta give it to them. They did a great job. And I love a little like rocking chair somewhere like those little rocking chair i think those are like super romantic i just right i just think they're adorable dining table for outdoor eating i just on like side, it you have a couple swings and so cute provide walking sticks since there's a lot of hiking and hiking hills super cool and then over here on the right side you have your own hot tub hot tub and what what do you want you have a hot tub flip over the cover <laughs> and use this a hot tub to a hot tub bussy and it's so easy and you don't have to that's what i'm saying it's cold if you have a hot tub it gotta be cold right like, it'll get cold grill over here and it's just really it's it's very well designed area. beautiful um, fire pit and, and all of that right and middle. still matching everything so i'm like into it even the rug outside matching every like everything here. feels linked and there's the basketball theme that goes in between every way so it's very enjoyable to be here and it's yeah, like yeah your Lene, and that's it for the video again if you like this please subscribe like comment check out his video <laughs> i was pointing the wrong way <laughs> and let me know what you think in the comments would you like me to review more container homes do you would like would do you would like would you like to live in a container home or have an idea of that let me know and give me your feedback Thanks. And until next time, bye. Looking forward to read your comments. <laughs>